here is a not only an interesting ploy, but this is a, a principle, a concept in itself that you can use to strengthen your magic. Uh, in this example, we assume that the card vanishes and it reappears inside uh, a card case. It can be a duplicate, you can palm it and use a Marlis method or any of the well-known methods to bring it in. The good thing, and here is the idea, now you put it back and leave it there as you make a little comment or maybe continue on be the beginning of your next trick. Now the concept here is that there is going to be an image which uh, stays on the timeline for a while and reminds the spectator of the effect that took place before. So this image will remind the spectator that the card came from the, the card case. Another example is when you do triumph, for instance. That's why it's a good idea to spread the cards face down, separate it and uh, push the select the card forward because the face down situation of the spread will remind the audience that the cards were mixed whereas if you do it the other way around as is sometimes seen where you spread the deck face up and uh, and you turn the face down card face up at the end there will be an, an image which does not which is not in contrast and it doesn't remind the spectator in a particular way of uh, the effect that went before.